I think the future of health and medicine is not limited to any one technology bucket. And the whole theme of the programs we put on here is that it's a convergence of different fields, many of which are moving exponentially. We're, we're looking for that gap between what we can do for the patients and what we want to do for the patients. And every single one of us is trying to fill that gap to the best of our ability. And some of us are doing it with surgical robots and others are doing it with mobile apps. It's really about bringing extraordinary people together. It's my great pleasure to welcome Ray Kurzweil from Boston. Life expectancy was under 20 a thousand years ago. It's 37 and 1800. And that's from the linear progression of health and medicine. Uh, so I'm personally looking forward to uh, the exponential gains we'll see in the decades ahead. The audience itself is highly curated and they are selected because every single individual is doing extraordinary things in their own uh, daily environment. And I tell people all the time, my job is to make the impossible possible. If you can appreciate the technology trends and understand exponential thinking and the power of exponentials, it gives us the opportunity to see where things are going to come together in a couple of years and how you might reinvent elements of you know, wellness and prevention, diagnostics, therapy, participatory health care, and reframing and rethinking and reinventing elements of health and medicine. So that's sort of, I think, the magic of what's happened here. The convergence of the best minds and advances of what might be thought of as kind of a different and distinct fields, like the humanistic side of health and healing, and how do you bring the heart and the soul back into the center of healthcare? Uh, sounds kind of touchy-feely, and then you have the high-tech piece, but what happens when you get the high-tech with the high-touch is that transformation across the system can happen. Innovation is happening everywhere. It's not that, that one, one field is going ahead. No, we have fantastic innovation in IT, we have them in genomes, we have them in other engineering, in, in artificial intelligence. And that actually, all of this is influencing other areas, all the different areas of health. Innovation happens uh, together. So that is a very uh, good, and it is a great thing. Diversity. We have somebody who's uh, pursuing the digital um, you know, revolution in medicine, but comes from the IT world. You meet a 26-year-old that doesn't just think out of the box, he doesn't know there is a box. This coming here is probably the best um, educational opportunity, business opportunity, and networking opportunity because you're you know, you know, mingling with people that are in the, the highest echelon society doing the most incredible things. And I think you're never gonna see that in any other conference where they're doing these kind of things. A lot of the time, people get together, form partnerships, and actually do startup companies out of this. Go is exactly with the Singularity University mission, which is impacting a billion people in 10 years with exponential technologies. So a lot of things happening, from synthetic biology to sensors to the work with artificial intelligence. We heard here from some of the work um, converging IBM Watson with cancer uh, diagnostics and therapeutics. So, uh, you know, every time we do a program, the curriculum is going to be significantly different. And that's what's exciting. It's opening people's eyes to what's really happening. It was just tremendous that all the stuff that's here hasn't really gone out to the public yet. And you know, when people come here, I think they look at all the new technologies and they can take that back with them and actually implement it right now, not, not five years from now. So it'll exponentially improve their practice. Any meeting that, whose main edifice, uh, main foundation is, is the future of medicine and exponential curves of technology means this meeting gets it. And so the reason that I uh, have taught each year and the reason that when I come I stay for the entire event is because what happens on the stage is truly remarkable, but what happens in all the synergy and the catalysis occurring around the conversations between the participants, uh, the students if you will themselves, and those who are sharing uh, their work on the stage is, is, is mind-blowing. I was particularly delighted about the camaraderie and the sharing of information ideas and the networking. Uh, uh, the level of intellectual maturity has been fabulous and uh, it's been quite exciting and well worthwhile. It's one of the most exciting things I experience um, ever. Um, the, the ideas, the exchange, the, the interaction with the people is, is just extraordinary. So if you're asking yourself why should you come to uh, our program, come here and, and bring your ideas, your passions, and learn from others who are doing things sometimes differently, who may have new tools that you're not aware of, who are taking tools that you might be aware of and using them in new and powerful ways. Help rethink and reshape the future of health and medicine.